Very few scrolls were actually found. In fact, there was only one complete Old Testament scroll found in the caves of Qumran, this being the famous Isaiah scroll, which is on display today at the Shrine of the Book Museum in Jerusalem. Now, these 19,000 pieces have been reassembled into 800 unique scrolls. Now, 600 of those 800 scrolls were non-biblical scrolls. The other 200 were Old Testament biblical scrolls. 36 unique copies of Psalms were found in the caves of Qumran, 21 unique copies of Isaiah, 30 unique copies of Deuteronomy. What we're going to do is just show you again how this piece looks first to the naked eye, but when we switch over to infrared, watch the stark contrast. The Talmud teaches us that that Tav is the Hebrew letter Tav, the last letter of the alphabet, the letter of completion in the ancient script. Let me show you the ancient Hebrew letter Tav. Hundreds of years before Christianity, this was the Jewish sign used to anoint the priests, used on Jewish graves. There are word pictures older than Moses that declare the gospel of our Messiah. Words like the word for religion or faith, which is the door of the Tav. The word for the Torah or law, which is what comes from the man nailed to the Tav. Here comes in the next year what nobody in the church was ever expecting this little five foot, eight inch, 150 pounder named Martin Luther. And on Halloween of 1517, the year after Erasmus did this, he writes out 95 reforms that he demands of the church. They ignore him. They did the same thing to him they did to Erasmus. Don't worry, they'll go away. By 1521, Luther had not gone away. And finally, the church got so fed up that they issued a warrant for his arrest. Now, Tyndale has a real problem. He doesn't have a language. Remember that Middle English is a real mess. And he has to think to himself, how am I going to do this, translate a Bible where people will really use it and it will survive? He takes Luther's New Testament. He takes Erasmus's Greek and Latin New Testament. He decides, I'm going to make this English like the Hebrew. I want it to be a picture language. 